test 6.6 .6 is the project transaction Okay, so to do this project transaction first we can do the shortcut first uh, for all the entry that we need to record later so to do the shortcut of the transaction you can actually go to the my favorite so uh, here you can click on the my favorite there and you can just right click at this space and then organize icon so you can choose start from AP invoice okay and then take uh, the next one is AP credit note you find AP credit note and then take the next AP payment and then uh, AR invoice entry and after that AR credit note and then AR receive payment which is AR payment and then cash receipt and also cash payment so after that you click on add button and you can just click ok so now we already do the shortcuts so for the first transaction that we need to key in is AR uh, sorry AP invoice so we click on the icon create the first one which is supplier A and then we key in the invoice number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ok for the in our invoice number there's two way is either you follow the system numbering which is BINV001 or you follow the supplier invoice number which is 123456 but uh, for me I'll be doing uh, following the uh, system numbering so I just remain the same and then I just change the date to 8 of January Okay, and then I insert the purchase account 610 description remain the same and I choose the project number there for B1 and the account is 5000 so after that uh, we need to take after save because we have the second invoice to key in so after, and then we just click on the uh, save button now we proceed to the second one supplier B then supply invoice number 222222 and I change the date to 8 of January uh, purchase account 610 and then project number I choose SP2A and the amount is 4000 eh, sorry 3000 so save and we do the last uh, invoice supply C uh, 333 333 for invoice number supply invoice number and the date is 8 January as well 610 for the purchase account this uh, description same project number SP2B and the amount is 4000 so here I untick after save because this is the last one so I just click on save ok now we proceed to the AP credit note so click on the icon of AP credit note and the creditor is supplier A. Channel type is purchase. CN type is return. Okay. So the next one is uh, CN number. Follow the system numbering. Okay. And then we change the date to the 10th of January. Okay. Then I key in the supplier CN number 1212. Okay, and then invoice supplier invoice number as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then uh, click plus sign. Insert the account six one two. Purchases return. Okay, and the project number is P one amount is 200 
Okay, so before you save, you key in the uh, description there for goods return. So this APCN for goods return, and then we need to know of the invoice. Okay, so the the invoice one two three four five we need to tick, and you can see the outstanding there, the remain outstanding. So you can just click on the save button to save the uh, credit note. The next one is AP payment. Choose creditor supplier B, and the project number has P two A, and then key in the description which is payment on account. Okay, and then change the date to ten of January. Payment method is CIMB KL. Check number is automatically detect for you. You just need to put in the amount. So one thousand, and we need to know off to the invoice. Invoice two 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 two. So you just tick there, and then uh, you can see the outstanding. After that, you just click save. Okay, now we move to the AR. So AR, click on AR invoice icon. Create the first one, customer one, and then general type sales. Okay, ah uh, invoice number. Follow the system numbering. And date I change to it of January. So the sales account is five hundred thousand. And then the project number I choose B one, and the amount is fifteen thousand. So I tick after save, and then I click on save. Now the second one is customer two. Okay, and then I change the date to eight of January as well. Ah, uh, sales account five hundred thousand. Project number SP two A, amount is twelve thousand. Then I click on save. The third one is customer three. So date is eight of January. Also, the sales account is five hundred thousand. The project number is SP two B, and the amount is nine thousand. And then you need to untick after save, and proceed with the save button. Okay, the next one will be AR credit note. So I need to click at the AR credit note. So the debtor is customer two. General type sales, CN type return. Okay, and then we key in the description. So basically, this customer returns the goods to us. So we put in goods return, and the date we change to ten of January. Okay, so here we need to click uh, the debit account five one thousand. Which is sales return, okay, and then the project number is SP two A, and the amount is hundred fifty. Okay, after you done, you need to not off. So to not off, invoice number two. So you just tick, and then you just click save button. So the next one will be AR payment. So click on the AR payment to record that. So the first payment that we receive is from customer one, and for project P one, description payment on account. Okay, the date is on ten of January. So the payment method is CIMB KL. Check number RHP two three four five six, 
and the amount is 3,000. So we need to know of their invoice because they are paying to us. So tick on the invoice number 1 and you just click on the save button to save for the payment. Okay, now we need to record the cash receipt. So click on the icon there. We need to key in you receive from cash customer. Okay, so the description there is cash sales. And then the date I changed to 10 of January. So payment method is by cash. Right, and then uh, I insert the account number 500 for uh, cash sales. Okay, and the project number is for SP2B and the amount is 4000 Okay, after that, I will just click on the save button to save for the receipt voucher. Okay, now the next one is payment voucher. So, to record payment voucher, I just go to the cash payment. Now I need to pay to the staff. So I key in staff here. Description is for salary January. And the date is 10 January. For the payment method is CIMBKL. So the check number is already there. And I need to insert the first account which is 904 salaries. For project number P1, amount is 4000 For the second salary is uh, 904 as well. But for the project SP2A, and the amount is 3000 And the last one, salary also. Okay, for the project of SP2B, and then the amount is 2000 after I done, I just click on save button to save.